Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video, a breakfast video for very chill and cozy mornings. Today I have four super simple and tasty new ideas for you. Before we begin, I want to mention that there's five days left on my ebook sale, so until Christmas, it's only gonna be $12. So check it out if you're interested, link is down below. Let's start with a bowl of wintry overnight oatmeal. So this has all the flavors from the spiced fruit cake I made in my last video. It's just a lot healthier and there's hardly any work involved. In a bowl or a glass jar, combine the following ingredients. A half a cup of oats, a teaspoon of chia seeds, ground up almonds, cinnamon, and other wintry spices if you like, crushed roasted hazelnuts. Bought them just like this and found them in the baking aisle at Edeka, my grocery store, the, the grocery store I go to. Also add a pinch of salt. Plain vegan yogurt, non-dairy milk, and if you're using unsweetened, add in a sweetener of choice. Then if you want to be extra, like I was, lemon and orange zest. You don't have to add it, but it does make a difference. This list just keeps getting longer, but if you like, add in some chopped dried fruits. I went for dates. Put a plate on top, or if you're using a jar, put the lid on, and then refrigerate overnight. The next morning, you can serve it with some fresh fruit. I cut up an apple into slices, as you can see, but you don't have to, you can just eat it straight away. And that's it. Next one, banana and peanut butter breakfast waffles. I got this Belgian waffle maker recently, so this called for a new recipe. Super easy, just throw all the ingredients into your blender. One banana, one part spelt flour and one part oats, baking powder, a tablespoon of peanut butter, vanilla and non-dairy milk. Now I've never made these into pancakes before, but I don't see why it wouldn't work, so let me know if that's what you're making, um, how they turn out. I greased my waffle iron vigorously because I am paranoid of getting anything stuck on there. But yeah, I put my temperature on almost max, and then once it was hot, poured in like a third to a half a cup of batter for each waffle. I really eyeballed these, so I made some of them smaller, some of them bigger. But the waffles overall took three to four minutes to get done. But keep an eye on them, since every waffle maker does things differently. I made some of them more soft and others more crispy. Until recently, I didn't know that crunchy waffles were a thing. What do you think waffles should be like? Let me know in the comments. I serve these with vegan yogurt, banana slices, chia seeds, and powdered sugar. On to recipe number three, an apple pie smoothie, or just a spiced apple smoothie, the first name just sounds better. To your blender, add unsweetened applesauce, one real life apple, one to three soft dates, depending on how sweet you want it, oats, cinnamon, gingerbread or pumpkin pie spice, and then either a frozen banana or frozen mango, that's what I did. Not for the flavor, but for temperature and the creaminess factor. Now blend. I added more cinnamon on top, just trying to make this look nice. It's really yummy though. On to the last recipe, a vegan omelet. Does it taste exactly like a real omelet? Maybe not, but it was close enough to fool my dad and brother who actually thought there was egg in there. But you could also call these very soft tofu, turmeric, and onion pancakes. First, chop up an onion. 
Then heat up a large non-stick pan and fry up the onion pieces first in a teaspoon of oil for about 6 minutes on medium-high. Saute until golden brown and slightly toasty, then set them aside. Now for the third time, grab your blender, add one big block of firm tofu. Nutritional yeast, cornstarch, flour, baking powder, turmeric, and this stuff, kala namak, which is black salt that smells and tastes like egg. It is the weirdest thing. So strange, but important for the recipe. If you don't care about the eggy flavor, then you can just omit it. Non-dairy milk, lemon juice, and salt and pepper. If you don't want to have onion pieces in there, then add the onion before blending. Now heat up the same non-stick skillet you just used with a bit more oil. Make sure there's no onion pieces left in the pan because they will burn. Bring the pan to medium. Let them cook for about 3 to 5 minutes on both sides. Since they're mainly made out of tofu, they're a bit more tricky to fry than my normal pancakes. Make sure to keep the pancake size small. If you don't, then this might happen. So some of them might fall apart, but that's okay. Then, then they're like scrambled eggs, sort of. They can be served with toast or veggies or rice or any other grain of choice. Before serving, make sure to squeeze over some lemon juice and if you want to have a stronger egg flavor, then before eating, sprinkle over some more of the kala namak. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching! I hope you're all having relaxed and cozy winter and holiday breaks. Once again, my ebook sale is still ongoing. If you're interested, all the info is in the description. Happy holidays. Thank you so, so much for being here. I'll see you soon. Bye.